one of the most nerve-wracking things that happens when you are a new chair is the first time somebody comes to you and says, right, let's sit down and structure the agenda for the next meeting. Structuring an agenda is as much an art as it is a science, but there are a few things that might help you to make your agenda more effective so that your board can make better decisions more efficiently. That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? So the first thing to think about is who is in and who is not in the room. Are there people who need to be excluded because of conflicts of interest? Do you have executives coming in and out? Try to organise things so that people aren't continually getting up and sitting down again, as that can be quite disruptive to their trains of thought and to the running of the meeting. Think as well about the energy levels in the room. Try to put the decision-making or the thought-provoking items towards the front of the agenda, but not right at the beginning, so that people have time to settle and to focus their minds on the business at hand before you ask them to make any important decisions. Make sure you create space for comfort breaks, for refreshments, and if you do have a meal in the middle of your meeting, if you're running a full day meeting, be sure that you understand that people will be a little sluggish afterwards and won't be working at quite the same pace as they were before. Bear these things in mind, see what works with your board. Every board is different, just as every director and every person is different. And most important, never stop trying to make your board more effective and to make better decisions on behalf of your company.